Okay, today is March 21st. Uh, tomorrow's an important day for them. You know, their 322 Skull and Bones number, just throwing it out there. Um, I just want to tell you that this is a very important podcast. I have Andrew Sorcini on here today. We basically kind of put in, put in together this uh, emergency broadcast. Why? Because if you've listened to Andrew and I for the past one, two, maybe even three years, what have we been saying? When silver hits $25, $26, that's like critical mass when gold gets to 21 2200 that's critical mass and and they've been fighting and fighting and fighting to not let it ever silver or gold breach those numbers it's kind of like a roof above your head they cannot let it go past those because if it goes past those numbers what ends up happening is the dollar becomes worthless it's like this is a battle of of the financial system and right now we're getting on here because gold and silver are starting to breach those numbers and it's getting really exciting in terms of what's happening in the world. So I wanted to get Andrew on here, get you know, get his opinions and what he sees going on on his end. And then the finishing little cherry on top of this conversation is if there's ever anything going to happen biblically, it would be on, uh, if, you've, if you've listened to me, it's on feast dates. Okay. Well, we're getting into Purim. We're getting into Passover. We're getting into resurrection. Like, if you want some feast dates and some critical biblical dates, they're all, there's huge biblical dates within the next 30 to 60 days. So please pay attention to this podcast. Andrew, welcome. And what do you see going on on your end? Well, I, I, I dug out all my beach stuff. I thought the beach day was actually coming. And, and it is coming. It's just I thought it was here. Um Yesterday, we saw gold hit $2,211, almost $2,212 for one ounce. And um, we always talk about silver, that uh, that the manipulators out there, the big banks, will not let silver go past 26 And I believe we will very soon, but it almost happened yesterday. We've talked about the movement and the order of events or order of the commodities, okay? So... The first thing to ever move, which they have the most difficulty in controlling, is Bitcoin. So we saw Bitcoin blow vertical as February is ending and March is beginning. We saw, you know, fifteen, twenty thousand dollar price move in a matter of a week or something. Okay, so we're seeing that start to break vertical. At the same time, they're trying to slam it down. So we, you know, we've seen a pullback right now ever since we saw each other uh, over with clay. Um, and now the next thing breaking forward is gold. It started to penetrate that twenty two hundred, and the last thing out of the gates is silver. But what's silver doing? So like it's everything's happened, like we've said, Bitcoin first, gold second, and now silver starting to breach that 25, 26 number. And they the, today just try to slam it back down, but it's holding. So you're right. All of this that we've talked about, we're starting to witness it. We're witnessing with our own eyes. And we're seeing these numbers starting to get hit here. And I agree, like we've talked about the beach day, okay? This is not Andrew going to the, to the beach. This is pretty, unless if you know, unless you live in somewhere where it's cold, but this is literally about every single gold dealer taking a day off when this event happens, because it's not only Andrew, it's every single, just because Andrew's by the beach, he's probably going to head over there, but every single gold dealer is going to shut their doors because when this thing goes, it's going to blow and it's going to take off powerfully vertical. This is a bank killer event when this happens. Okay, and why? Because this is a jubilee. So this is the destruction of debt. And there is that Kim Clement prophecy, death to debt. Just today, he spoke about the beginning of the death of debt. There's a death going to begin this year. The death of debt. Yes, that's you. That's America. And when this event goes down, you know, there's no sitting on the fence on this. It's you either, you either believed or you didn't. And so the numbers that we've been talking about, we're sitting right there. We're, we're, we're there. So something's about to happen, whether it's today, whether it's tomorrow. It doesn't matter because the day this thing goes down, no one's going to know the exact day it's going to go down. This is important to understand. You just don't want to be one day late. You would rather be, it'd be better to be two years early. Like if you've listened to us for two years you're sleeping great because there's no stress. You've listened and you are holding God's money. Again, two years early is better than one day late. What's your take on that, Andrew? 
Oh, it, it's completely true. And and um, one of our biggest clients here, we actually lived through that with them going back as early as 2014. So um, two friends did a $10 million deal for all silver at that point. And I swear for about two and a half to three years, they called me and they say, Andrew, when when's this going to pop? As silver's not doing anything. It's still hovering between $14 and $15 an ounce. They're like, we, we thought it should be like $35 by now. And um, they were very, very frustrated because they saw the stock market take off. They saw Bitcoin take off. Real estate took off. And um, this is 2014 to about 2017. Now, fast forward to where we're at now, where yesterday silver was almost at $26 an ounce. Now, when they call, they they say, hey, how's your family? How's everything going? Um, the weather out there good? And we plan when they're going to come out and say hello. It's The point is, is that there's no point, there's no problem with being early. There's only a problem with being late to the game. And you don't want to be late to this because right now the product is available. The premiums are surprisingly low. I can't believe it. And um, and we know where this is headed. So you want to get in with the idea of where you know this is going in mind and don't focus too much on the entry point dollar wise. Again, we're not here to tell anybody what to do. But I love God, I love Jesus, and I know the scriptural words of what I'm representing. And what I'm representing is, I've described through all of my podcasts, if you read scriptures, it's very clear. This is not uh, an investment. This is an insurance policy that we're talking about, okay? If you're doing investing, that's a whole, you know, we're not, that's not this conversation. This conversation is an insurance policy against the policy makers, these policy makers took us off the gold standard with Nixon in 71. In 74, June 9th, the petrodollar was signed with Kissinger, okay? Ever since then, we've been backed by an oil contract from Saudi Arabia, not even from our own country. Like, we're literally backing our petrodollar contracts, not even out of the United States. It's out of Saudi Arabia. Like, give me a break, right? Think about that for 50 years, right? And then, because we have gold in, in our in ground, but they can't do that. They never did that contract. They did a contract with someone, a foreign entity. And this is a huge problem, okay? So that contract... 50 years later, after the contract was, uh, was we were taken off the gold standard with Nixon, we it's the Saudis, who we have the Petro contract with. It's like Petro, Saudi, contract, United States. So that contract, this is crazy, because Nixon took us off the gold standard. 50 years later, the Saudis signed a military agreement with Russia, and then just this year, like in January, you can verify all this, Andrew, or expand upon this, but in January, what happened is very simple. The Saudis joined the BRICS. In other words, they've left the contract. So all that's left is with the U.S. dollar is fiat, and, and fiat money in, has no intrinsic value. So you can go log into your bank account all day and you can smile and feel good about all the digits you're looking at, but all your, or you get your monthly statement. Oh my gosh, you know, I've, I've got a 401k or an IRA. I got all these, look at all these zeros, right? That's all you're looking at is digits and zeros. And the moment the stuff hits the fan, okay, you're going to find out that what you've got is nothing but digits and zeros, because real money is gold and silver. So an insurance policy, if you've got insurance on your home, if you've got insurance on your cars, if you have health insurance and you do not own gold or silver, you have zero insurance on your wealth or financial position. Because if you have zero gold and zero silver, you do not understand history because history stated every single money system ever in existence has gone to what, Andrew? Oh, it's gone to zero. It's um, It's been replaced by something bigger and better. And that's that's what's happening here. The dollars had a great run. And um, to, to comment on what you said, January 1st, um, Saudi Arabia with three other countries joined the BRICS nations with the sole purpose of de-dollarizing the entire globe. So that ended our contract with Saudi Arabia and killed the petrodollar, which uh, had a good 50-year run. That deal's done now. So even though the dollar has technically been fiat for a long time, it was somewhat backed by these oil trades. 
and the and the bonds that uh, that support the dollar to to have the value to make those trades happen. Well, with that being done, when the dollar goes down in value, the price of gold goes higher. We've seen gold jump about three hundred dollars an ounce in the last, uh, I guess, three months now. So three, three and a half months. So the reason that that's happening is we're seeing a shift and the, the dollar zoos in value in a big way. Now, let me ask you a question. Have you heard of the BRICS, Andrew? Oh, yes. I'm joking, yeah. But what I'm trying to say is, people, please, you know, you're not going to find this on mainstream media, but yeah, I'm, I'll clip it in here of a, a clip that people talk about the BRICS, but virtually all over the world, other nations and countries are all talking about the BRICS. Let's talk about all of this, the U.S. economy and policy with FedEx founder and executive chairman Fred Smith. Our financial capabilities to print money at will is dependent on the dollar remaining the reserve currency. And the so-called BRICS alliance, Brazil, Russia, India and China, have set out on a deliberate course to dethrone the dollar. If that happens and we can't sell our bonds, I can assure you the living standards that we all enjoy today are going to be a thing of the past. The BRICS group is set to introduce a new currency backed by gold in contrast to the credit-backed U.S. dollar with countries lining up to join the growing initiative. If oil starts trading in non-petrodollars, such as gold or a basket of currencies, or if China and Russia start trading in yuan and ruble rather than U.S. dollars, that demand isn't there. And the way of life for the average American will be done. It will be worse than the Great Depression. The U.S. dollar has seriously discredited itself as the global reserve currency. That's according to Russia's foreign minister, who's been holding talks in Moscow with his counterparts from Persian Gulf countries. Recent uh, widespread report has concluded that more than half of central banks worldwide plan to shift their holdings from U.S. dollars to gold. I'm talking about our currency being used throughout the world. You want it to remain. You want the dollar to remain the world's reserve currency. Well, I think it's bigger than losing any war. Mm -hmm. I think if it doesn't, uh, look, we are already reverting to third world status in many ways. You look at our airports, you look at our terminals, you look at our filthy roads and broken roads and everything else. We're like a third world country. We have something that's very powerful, and that's our dollar all mm -hmm. over. Mm -hmm. But you take a look at what's happening to it now with other countries not using it, and you know China wants to replace it with mm -hmm. the yuan, mm -hmm. and it was unthinkable with us unthinkable would never have happened now people are thinking about it that could happen the reason you don't hear about the BRICS here in the united states particularly is because they want you to believe everything's fine it's like when you go to disneyland you're like wow what a beautiful place to feel so good here and little do you know what's going on behind the scenes you see what i'm saying it's all or when you watch a movie right they uh, it's called facades you know they, they make a movie as a, a, a screen set and you know all these actors are doing things and you know half of the buildings I mean, you're looking at are nothing but facades are just just they're just a front and or that you know that the movie the wizard of oz you know you pull the curtain back uh, and next thing you know, you find out it's, you know, there's just a one guy with a big voice. And so in the United States, you don't have the media that MSM is not telling you about the BRICS. And yet this is a real deal. And this is not just a little thing. Okay. Expand upon the magnitude of what the BRICS entails, Andrew, please. Well, the BRICS nations are now the BRICS nine. So it's nine big countries that include Russia, China, India, South Africa, Brazil, Saudi Arabia, Egypt, and, there, and uh, there's a couple of more, but there's 30 more on deck to join them. But just with the original nine BRICS nations, they, they now control 75% of the world's currency with the transactions that they're doing. Okay, just pause for a minute there. 75% of the world's currency slash world population. Yeah, it's it's just mind blowing. So if that was the final score of the game, we've already lost. And the only way for us to really fight back is to create this, a gold backed digital currency of our own that would be better. It seems like all solutions lead to a gold backed currency. And we've known this for decades. It's just been a matter of time. When do we go back to a gold backed dollar? But in this case, it won't be a gold backed dollar. It'll be a gold backed token or digital currency or something that trades on the blockchain. So like you always say, by owning gold, 
you're in on the ground floor. It's like buying Facebook before the initial public offering and being an investor in that company or any company like Facebook that's done really well. So in this case, it can't hurt you. You're just converting your green dollars into gold and silver. And uh, if you get into a jam or if you need to buy a house or a car or whichever, you just convert it back into the green. It's very simple, but it's very important that people um, get some, even if you don't like the idea, just get a small percentage of your portfolio portfolio in gold and silver for insurance purposes, because it is a true portfolio insurance out there. I want to expand on what you just said, because you brought up an interesting point, you know, uh, a digital um, digital gold, you know, a gold uh, backed by a blockchain or something. Please understand. Think about this. OK, the reason Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies have value because those well, two reasons, one. The world has agreed to use Bitcoin as value and you can't create it out of thin air. So therefore, it has value because people agreed it's money. The globe has agreed it's money. And that's why the price is like sixty, seventy thousand dollars right now. OK. And secondly, this is the important part you need to understand. Bitcoin is nowhere but everywhere. I'm going to repeat that. Bitcoin's nowhere. Like you can't hold one in your hand. And yet it's everywhere because the blockchain would be, if you download the blockchain, it will be on every computer or, you know, millions of computers globally. So Bitcoin's nowhere yet everywhere. This is the problem for those that, you know, think, oh, I'm just going to get a blockchain gold or something, like blockchain silver. I'm going to depend on the government to, you know, uh, and don't worry, the government's going to take care of you. No, no. They're going to say, oh, well, blockchain, we're going to pay gold back by blockchain. Here's the problem, okay? Because, you know, the governments, don't worry, they'll take care of you. Don't worry. They got you. It's all good. And then one day you wake up and um, the government decided they're going to steal or allow somebody to steal or take all that gold. Overnight, your coin would go to a value of zero. You see, so digital gold is a scam because it, the gold that backs the coin is somewhere, not everywhere. It's the exact opposite of Bitcoin or blockchain. So you can't, so if you want, this is the point of what I'm saying here. If you believe that gold and silver are money, because they are based on Haggai 2.8 and, and biblically, okay, they are. And if God's going to flip the financial scales, you want gold and silver in your personal possession, buried in your backyard or buried in the woods somewhere, but you have the map to it, okay? That's the best control of gold. But on the other hand, you really can't take control um, if you've got a 401k or an IRA, but at least that's the next best thing. Because otherwise, if you've just got digits in a 401k and an IRA, and it's not even backed by physical gold, now you are you can be in a world of hurt. The ultimate money is physical possession of gold and silver. And whatever happens in the financial system, you're in on the ground floor. Right, Andrew? Absolutely. And and there's um, um, so many other factors that make this a, a good investment. One of the other things to be watching out for this year is that the commercial real estate out there is really in a lot of trouble. I've, I saw a video recently with Jerome Powell talking about um, there's this term funding program that ended like two weeks ago where the Fed Reserve was actually um, holding up some of the smaller banks that are starting to be upside down on some of their real estate investments. And when those investments go belly up, some banks will fail. The Fed Reserve Chairman actually said that on the interview. He says, yes, banks will, will fail, but they will be smaller ones. And if you wait to get gold as portfolio insurance, once these banks start failing, it'll make the three banks that went under last year look like nothing. And you'll wish that you made that move. And maybe you still could after. It's just there's going to be longer wait times for you to receive your order. It uh, the premiums will be higher, and of course the price will be higher. So it's um this is a real thing. COVID and all this work from home stuff really made it so that a lot of people never made it back into the office. And commercial real estate's really taken a big hit. That's another example how everything in our world is changing. 
period. Everything is changing financially. And so it comes back to, again, you know, are you positioned? Do you have insurance in case something goes down financially? And this is the thing is, this is not in case something goes down anymore. If you read scriptures, if you listen to my podcast, events are going to go down upon this world and they will be biblical. Things are about to happen that are going to be mind-blowing. If God's going to intervene upon the world because he's going to, because it's written, Read Second Chronicles. God's going to intervene upon this world. No one knows the day God's going to strike, but we do have Purim coming up this weekend. Following that, we got Resurrection coming up. Then we got Passover. Okay, we've got we've got Ascension. We've got um, so many biblical feasts and dates coming up. It's wild. Uh, if if you study what happened uh, in the you know four hundred years that Israel was in bondage. And then they finally were freed from Pharaoh. Okay, well, the Mayflower landed 400 years ago. You cannot downplay the magnitude of how our existence here in the United States parallels things that happened in, uh, back in Egypt. And bit back to what I said, if you don't study history, you'll never know the future. And so all currencies have gone to zero. Any financial system ever created by man has gone to zero. The only thing that hasn't is gold and silver. So again, I just want to state, the only thing that's never gone to zero is gold and silver it's always had value because it's god's money so if you don't own any you don't have an insurance policy for your financial position and when you go to bed every night uh, I, honestly you know i think the first the biggest thing you probably hear from people the moment they receive their precious metals they probably call you up and say you know i had the best sleep of my life why because your insurance policy just came in so regardless of whatever happens financially you're always position they're holding God's money and you're basically very simply putting your money on God. And if you think that the world is healthy right now, I don't know where you you know what what planet you're living on. Turn on the news, look at the stuff going on. There is nothing healthy going on in our in the world right now, especially, you know, you look at what's going on in Congress. It's it's crazy what's going on there right now. So, this is a wild time to be living. And if you're going to do anything, you need to be I just like you know, I just got to say, you know, if you're going to do anything, have an insurance policy on your financial position so in case things happen or not when they happen because look what's going on with the bricks look at all this going on it's going to come down the pipeline it's going to come to roost and you can't stop what's coming you can only position yourself so that when it does happen you're sleeping well and you're comfortable and you're not freaking out that you lost everything so um andrew um so you're saying the premiums right now are low so um in terms of coinage what's the number one coin so in terms of silver coins or even gold coins what's the number one coin that people typically uh, like like to buy from you or that you think uh, you know would be a, a good place to start uh and then secondly finish up with if, if people have uh finances uh, and again particularly i think uh, you know a lot of people in this world have 401ks and iras expand upon that and how quick they might be able to um you know if they choose to do anything with you how that would work and how quick it might be because again i'm just telling you time is of the essence here i don't know when this is going to go down no one does okay but again this weekend's purim uh, next weekend is is resurrection sunday like and then you got passover i'm just repeating we are in biblical times here so leave it at that andrew so expand upon you know what you're seeing on your end and how you can maybe help some people if they want to call you up exactly um i will start with the uh, retirement accounts and then and then talk about what i'm seeing go into these retirement accounts a lot lately so yeah. for, for people out there if you feel that you're not in a position to make a cash purchase for physical gold and silver, or I should say cash conversion for gold and silver, you can actually use your retirement account to, to do so. So it's a 401k or an IRA. You can roll those over without it being a tax event, and it will become a precious metals IRA with the custodian that we use. The process takes about seven to 10 days to get the funds transferred from where they're at what Andrew just said was you take your digits that are on a piece of paper or on a bank account that you're looking at, and after the transaction's done, you literally have physical gold and silver sitting in a private depository. And I'm just telling you, there's a huge, this is now, and you can go in and check on it as well, too, if you wanted to. So please continue. Exactly. And earlier, you you mentioned that, um, that 
you still own physical gold and silver. And although it's not on your person or on your physical property, if there was an event that you felt that you needed to have it right away, you could have it sent to you. That would be a taxable event. So it's called a distribution. If it's a traditional IRA, that would be a taxable event. But if you're in an emergency, you you and your financial advisor or your family might determine that that's the right move for you. The point is, is that um, because there's not a bank involved, you don't have to line up out in front of a bank and go, gosh, I hope they don't run out of money before before it's my turn to get into the bank. The Frank Dodd Act actually makes you, when you take your funds into an, an account and you put your money in a bank, you become an unsecured creditor and the last man in line to get your money back if there's a financial issue. Please go read your, find your Frank Dodd Act. We're going to see a banking crisis the likes of which we've never seen, never seen in modern history. It's only a matter of time, unfortunately, before the dollar gets dethroned. Before we break down how this collapse happens, I want to touch on one of the points that you've made recently, and that is that our deposits in the bank are at risk of what you say is a bail-in, which has been sanctioned by the Dodd-Frank Act of 2010. Well, you know, for one thing, people have the assumption that when they make a deposit, that's their money, but it's not. When you make a deposit, legally, you are loaning your money to the bank. And in 1995, they enacted Regulation D, which legalized and enabled the banks to sweep your deposits into sub-accounts that are in the bank's name. Please continue. Yeah, th that is in there. And when banks go bankrupt or if a, if a company goes out of business and you're a creditor, you're lucky if you could get 10 cents on the dollar, if even that. So so it's um they have it really set up to where they can take what you have. So to me, it makes sense to have physical gold and silver in an IRA. The fees are just two, three hundred dollars a year, which is which is nothing because the investments that you're currently in, if they're stocks, you can have a swing more than two, three hundred dollars in either direction, either either way on the value. Now, as far as the product that goes into those IRAs. We're seeing a lot of government type silver. Right now, Silver Eagles, the premiums are low. So that's a, probably the number one coin that we put in there. If I can pause, you see, the moment silver takes off vertical, the most desired coin, I'm glad you said that, the most desired coin and the one that's going to explode in terms of premium is the Silver Eagle. So if, if you can get them now and the premiums are low, that is... Yeah, you want to do that. Yeah, avoid getting them when the premiums are high. So an example, going back to November of 2022, Bo called the exact bottom of the silver market, not with words, but with his actions when he made a purchase. And at that time, silver was $18.50 an ounce. A silver eagle at that point would cost you $18 more than the price of silver to get one ounce. So that wasn't even on the table as far as the type of silver that you wanted because the premium was too high at that point. Right so now, what did I buy? Yeah. Did I buy Eagles? Nope. You did the silver Philharmonics, which was right. something that was the premium was probably one third or one fourth what the Silver Eagle was at that point. So today, silver is about seven dollars an ounce higher than it was in November 2022. If you sold those, okay, the silver Philharmonics you would make a profit, which is really not our primary goal here. That's that's just a secondary goal. We're right. trying to, to me, it was more important to get more ounces. And I didn't want to put all the money into premium. I wanted to get ounces. And that's why I look at it, things versus right now, I just put an order in with you maybe last month when silver was $3 cheaper at the bottom there. And I put an order in with you, but I bought Eagles this time. Why? Because the premium was low. So it made sense. So yeah. for the people that bought Silver Eagles in November of 2022, which we didn't sell any at that point because I don't want to sell people silver at 100% premium. So we just talked them into other items that were a better buy. But for people out there that bought Silver Eagles at $36.50 each, if they wanted to sell those to me or any other company that does what we do, they would actually take a loss, even though silver is $7 an ounce higher. 
So that that was not a good move. And so they're not working with people that they can consult with and talk about the benefits and the features of each type of asset like you can with us, or even if you listen to this podcast. So it is important that people reach out because we can direct you into the what's going to do best for you. And what we're trying to say here is your goal is to get as many ounces as possible and avoid and and pay as little premium as possible. That's kind of the point we just want yep. to educate you on because you're not going to get away from paying premiums. That's just built into all the coinage because it takes the manufacturing costs and uh, and handling costs. It's just what it is. So you want to, but you at the same time, so you know there's a built-in premium. So your goal is to get as many ounces as possible. So therefore, pay the lowest premiums. And then the, the cream of the crop of the coins are the eagles. And right now, those are uh, at a very low premium. So uh, you know, I just I see it as a fantastic um, opportunity. And that's just my take on it. And but I did act on that as as well too. So continue to expand upon um, uh, you know how they can uh, reach you, how they can get coins, and how long things might take. If whether it's a a cash transaction versus like an IRA or a four hundred one k. Okay, so the way to reach us would be to go to bh pmcom and right on our homepage for the website, you'll see a, a form. It's schedule a consultation, put in your name, email, phone number, and uh, and say that Bo sent you on how did you hear about us, and or say gold 2020 forecast. And um, in the notes section, just put a couple sentences about what it is that you're trying to accomplish. Some people say um, things like, I inherited an IRA from a family member, and I would like to roll that into a gold-backed precious metals IRA. And no problem. So uh, I'll get you to our IRA team. We'll help you get that done. Um, you could go in there and say things like, um, I've been investing in gold and silver for years and years and years. So I know what I'm doing, but uh, reach out to me because I'm ready to make another transaction or I want to know how you guys operate so that when I do another transaction, I could go through you. So if you put the most notes in there is how I can get you to the right person here at our company to help you um, um, proceed with whatever it is you're looking to do. And um, what what I would urge people to do, though, is um, act quickly, because this is a time when around March or April in most years is when the the U.S. Mint will sell out of Silver Eagles. It it tends to happen where the, the 2024 date can sell out around the first quarter or the one third through the year. And then they don't have any for like a couple of months. And when that happens, the premiums for all silver go higher. So it's you wanna get in before that happens because um, we know where this is going. We know it's the beginning of the end of the dollar as the world's reserve currency. And uh, you're going to want to have insurance on everything that you've worked your whole life for. Point. I, I wanna, I'm glad exactly. we finished that point. You know, this is, as we've discussed, this is not an investment. We're not giving investment advice. We are telling you what we're discussing is God's money and an insurance policy for your financial position. If you think all of this doesn't make sense, again, that's where free will comes in. People have the free will to do whatever they want. But all I know in my heart, you know that Andrew and I have been friends, and I basically reach out to Andrew and I put orders in whenever silver pulls back. And and so I sleep very well at night because I know I know that I'm putting my position on God because I turn the news on every so often and I think there's nothing but crazy going on in the world. Maybe I'm maybe I'm the only one. But if you think there's crazy going on in the world, there's more crazy behind the scenes that you don't even know about. And we've done some podcasts trying to, you know, sh- show some of the things. It's all over the internet, all these crazy things going on behind the scenes. And and then beyond that, you know, we, you know, we've watched what they said about the the BRICS nations. I put that clip in here. These are people globally discussing what's going on with the U.S. dollar and the BRICS. So if if none of this makes sense, that's called free will. But on the other side of it, you know, I'm just a messenger. So is Andrew. You know, I'm a messenger. And if you like my message of, you know, prepare for what is coming, because these are not political times. These are biblical times. Look what's going on in the world. These are biblical times. So, Andrew, any last words? And thank you so much for being here. Well, we know that everything's going to be okay, but there's a gray area that we have to go through in the meantime. Let's not forget that this is an election year and uh, and anything that we see the government doing from now until then is with one thing in mind to to get reelected. So 
um, you need some protection to be able to weather the storm. Exactly. That all they were talking about is insurance policy, some protection of whatever happens. You at least, you know, you, you're positioned and you've positioned your family. So you at least, you know, as being the steward of your family, you know that you've done some wise, uh, you've, t- you've taken some wise moves. So anyways, God bless you, Andrew. Thank you so much for being here on this short notice. And I love you all. Thank you all for being here. God bless. Thanks, Bob. Beverly Hills Precious Metals Exchange is a client-focused firm devoted to assisting our clients with precious metals. Our clients range from first-time to serious coin collectors and investors seeking to add precious metals to their investment portfolios. We are not interested in volatile investments, leveraged products, and intangible assets. With rising inflation and the devaluing of the dollar hurting middle-class families, investing in gold and silver ensures protection for your hard-earned money. Save the value of your money today by investing in gold and silver at Beverly Hills Precious Metals. Hi, this is Bo Polney, and after thousands of requests, this is my official announcement. This is a heads up and a first glimpse of what I have been working on. I have been working on a book. This book is a prophetic understanding of God's perfect timing from creation to his return. It's going to be explosive. This is the first book I've ever written, and it will explain and illustrate with beautiful full color graphics of God's timing of events into the end of the age, the end of days. After reading it, you'll want to keep this beautiful book on your coffee table and share it with all of your friends and family. I'm telling you, it is amazing and you're going to love it. This book is going to open your eyes to the present day events and how they are occurring with mathematical perfection as they directly fulfill events prophesied in Revelation over 2,000 years ago. God speaks through his word. We know that. He also speaks through his servants, the prophets. And yes, he does speak through numbers. If you want to see how truly perfect his timing is and the specific calculations he has revealed to me about our future into the end of the age, this book has all the incredible details. Are you ready to see the cover and a glimpse of inside images? Here you go. I doubt there's a book anywhere in the world like this one. It illustrates God's perfect timing from creation to the book of Revelation, including the four horsemen of the apocalypse, the seven seals of Revelation, the great American eclipses, the coming great Egyptian eclipses, the coming aliens, yes, we talk about aliens, the rise of Antichrist and the mark of the beast, the coming rapture, and all the way to the likely timing of Christ's return, and much, much more. The mathematical calculations are beyond any human probabilities, clearly illustrating the end of days was written from the beginning by the hand of God. This book has a lot of surprises and will open your eyes as to how truly great our God is. I believe it's going to blow your mind and get you excited and prepared for the times ahead. It'll change the way you look at recent events in the world. It'll give you the power and understanding of how long we really have into the end of days and how all things are working together for good. That's why after reading this book, you're gonna begin to see how Revelation, like the Bible, is actually the good news as all things are manifesting in his perfect timing. So, how can you be the first to get your very own copy? Well, there's a link below this video. You can be the first to pre-order it and get it as soon as it comes out in April. And if you're one of the first 300 people to pre-order this book, you can receive a 30% discount by simply entering the code 777 at checkout. There's also a link for pre-orders on our website, so be sure to use that discount code. And yes, the book will be available on Amazon. However, no discount will be there. 
This is Bo Polney. I love you. Jesus loves you. And I know you will love this book. Thank you so much and God bless. No currencies ever that exist has ever lasted forever. So when this US dollar event happens, gold and silver go vertical. They will explode vertical because anytime a currency falls, it always de factos, it always de factos back to gold and silver, the money that's been money for 5,000 years. And that is what's going to happen to the United States dollar. It will de facto back to a currency, back well, to a gold standard. Because as long as the world deserve currency remains the world deserve currency, Trump's never coming back to office. We're going down. It'll be the biggest crash in world history. This is toilet paper. Back in 1972, I bought my first gold coin. I paid $50 for this. 50 of these for one of these. Today, it takes 2,200 of these to buy one of these. Did anything change? You need to ignore everything you've been taught since you were a kid. The almighty dollar is not almighty. It's going down in value, but people will actually go for this. They'll spend their whole lives working for this. That's how brainwashed they are, because our school systems haven't taught us anything about money. They don't trust gold, they don't trust silver. I can't believe it. Unemployment's gonna go through the roof. And what is everybody they're counting on this year? So when I go on programs, I always hold this up here. I go, this is silver, this is real, this is gold, this is paper. Which is the better investment today? Would you rather save this? Would you rather save gold? Or would you rather save silver? 95% of the people choose paper. <laughs> it's going down in value, but people will actually go for this. They'll spend their whole lives working for this. And as you know, the pensions, as uh, who was your prime minister for 30 days? Uh, oh yeah, uh, what's Liz her name? Truss. Liz, Liz Truss, yeah. Your pensions are gone. Yeah. So that's my generation. In America, I wrote a book called Who Stole My Pension? Wall Street sucked the money out of our pensions. So my generation, the boomers, what are they gonna go for? And today, America is the number one debtor nation in the world. It's gonna take $8 trillion to pay off our debt. We only collect 7.8 trillion in taxes. America's bankrupt. So I'm saying here, Brian, as you have been friends for years, we're the end of the American empire. And we're here at the British empire. And the empire changed from England to America. America was founded, as you know, in a tax revolt. It was called the Boston Tea Party. Get you British off our backs, we don't wanna pay taxes. So the American empire's dying. Is China next. And China's in bigger trouble as we are. Their real estate market's plummeting, the unemployment's high, their youth can't find jobs. And the pay, our money is going bad. So today I ask your viewers, this is called paper. This is called silver. This is called gold. Which one would you want to save? Most people choose this. That's how brainwashed they are yeah. because the school systems haven't taught us anything about money. They don't trust gold and they don't trust silver, but they trust a piece of toilet paper. I can't believe it. So our biggest problem is a lack of education. And so we are stepping into a time point. I don't care what anybody says, it's going to happen. This event is going to happen. It's going to happen in the year 2024. The dollar will be dethroned as the world deserve currency, period.